Solmart Vision tutorial, I want to continue where I left off in uh, Mixamo Easy Animations with Mixamo video that I just did the other day. So that video you can see right here on the omervision.com website in the tutorial section is this Easy Animations with Mixamo. I kind of went through a lot of stuff and then at the end I kind of just had the jump animation play, but um, someone wanted to see the actual character jump on the block. So you can download the project right here and pick up right now where I'm going to start with this tutorial. So this is that project and here it is. This is where the other video left off, the video I just showed you, that I could move around and there's a blend tree animation to go from running to walking to idle. All right, and now the jump was basically a jump up and down. But look what happens if I go into the floor. I just go right through the block. There's no collision um, detectors on my character. So as a matter of fact, I could run right off the right off the street too there. So that's what we're going to pick up. We're going to add some collision detectors to the animated character and we're going to be able to jump and land on the block. So um, first thing, it's kind of hard for me to see the block. Let me just make a material there so I can see the difference between the block and the floor. All right, and I'll just call this material block and I'll just give it a color. So I could just detect that thing a little better. All right, nice bright orange. There we go. Yeah, that's the block. And let me save that. So the first thing I have to do is add some um, colliders and a rigid body to my animated character, Frankie. So I have a problem because if I add a rigid body here to Frankie, rigid body, there's, and I, I just have a rigid body and there's no colliders, of course, it's not going to work. He's just going to fall right through the floor. So let's see, if I put a collider on Frankie right here, so sometimes when you have a character, you could put like a collider right on the whole thing. Let's put a capsule collider on him, shaped like a capsule right there. It's way too small. So let's just increase the height of it and pick it up a little bit from the floor. There you go. And the radius of it just a little bigger to match his body. All right, it's not perfect, but you know, there you go. You got a capsule collider. So now he's not gonna go through the floor, right? He's not gonna fall through the floor but he will fall off the edge. So we know that part's working. How about when he goes on the block? Let's see what happens when I do a jump to jump on the block with this simple capsule collider. I can't jump on it and I fall down. Well, I can't jump on it because um, if you were to see what happens, the capsule collider stays here. It stays right where it is even when I walk up to the block. And even though the character's animated and he jumps up, the capsule collider doesn't jump up with him. So I can't put the capsule collider, I can't put the collider on um, Frankie at the root level. I'm gonna have to put it on pieces of his body. So let me remove it from Frankie at the root level. And let me try to put it on a piece of Frankie that matters. The part that touches the floor are his feet. So let's see in the Mixamo rig, there's bones. Let's see if we just put it on the left foot. Now, as you can see, when I click on the different bones, the little targets moving to show where these things are. Here's a foot and here's a toe. It's a little bit in front of the foot. I'm gonna just click the foot. It's like right around where the heel is. And I'm going to add a collider there. So I'm going to add, um, let's add a sphere collider. Okay. And the size, let's see if the size is good. It's a little bit wider than the foot. It's going to collide with the one on the other foot. So let me just make the radius a little bit smaller, like a 0.4 maybe. That's good. Now let's do the same thing to the other foot on the right. Add another sphere collider. Make the size 0.4 for the radius. That's good. Now he has two colliders on his feet instead of on Frankie itself. And he has a rigid body at the top level. There you go. So luckily, um, the way Unity works, any of these child objects, if they have a collider, the collision event tracks right up to the top level. So I could have a rigid body here at the top level, Frankie, and down inside the children, I could have colliders and they'll work together. So I'm gonna press play now and see what happens. So good, I'm standing. I gonna fall through the floor and I'm walking and I kind of trip over. And it's funny because as he's moving, it's, his feet won't go through the floor because that's where the colliders are, but his head and the rest of his body go through. So that's um, kind of easy to solve that one. The colliders are round, so of course they're gonna be able to roll around. And we could restrict, to keep them from rolling around in the scene, we could restrict the rotation, okay? We could restrict the physics rotations on the X and the Z so that he doesn't fall over and maybe even on the Y so he doesn't spin around. So let's see what happens now if I press play. Okay, good, so I can walk as slow as I want. I can stand on one foot and I can't go through here. Now let me see if I jump up. And the jump animation is, oh, let's see if it's, the jump animation picks his feet up just enough for me to jump on the cube. There you go. So 
Now we have jumping. I could run around and jump animation picks up his feet high enough to go there. So there's a problem though, because I did do the jump and sometimes the feet kind of get caught on and I kind of stepped into it. I guess I could add a collider for my belly and my head. But for right now, that's how you kind of could add the jump animation and actually jump on a box. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Yeah, that's all I have to do. Sorry. So that's how you had to jump on the box. Any more questions, then just ask them and I'll add more to the video. Thanks. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. Maybe you want to see more videos. And maybe you want to check out my website, omarvision.com, where, in the tutorial section, it's a collection of all the videos I've ever made. And these blue links are the actual projects, and the orange links under the videos are the actual assets that are used in the videos. And if you want, you could also search here. Much easier for things. If you're looking for something, you type in a word and press search, and it will reduce the videos that show anything about what you just typed in. Hey, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.